Hello friends, this video on natural resources part 23 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us try understanding the greenhouse effect. So greenhouse effect is a natural phenomenon. It happens on its own. It is responsible for heating the earth as well as the atmosphere. So what happens is something like this. The solar radiation reaches the outer atmosphere. Some part of the solar radiation gets reflected by the gases and the clouds in the outer atmosphere itself. Some part gets absorbed by the gases and the clouds. More than 50% of the solar radiation reaches the earth's surface. Now, this solar radiation which reaches the earth's surface, they reach the land, ocean, etc. Heat them up. Now, when they get heated up, they release infrared radiation. So this infrared radiation which is uh, which tries to get out of the atmosphere what happens so all this infrared radiation they are not able to escape into the space why because the greenhouse gases absorb a major fraction of the infrared radiation thus the infrared radiation absorbed heats the earth's surface because infrared radiation is all about heat so most of the heat because of this infrared radiation being absorbed within the atmosphere most of the heat also uh, is contained in the atmosphere so this cycle repeats until no infrared radiation is left over to emit so this process will continue like every time the infrared radiation comes here the greenhouse gases will absorb some part of it and re-emit it again this infrared radiation so when it is re-emitted again the objects inside the earth will get heated up they will again emit some infrared again the greenhouse gases will do the same thing and this process will continue until the infrared radiation is left over to emit as a result of all of these the earth's temperature increases that is the earth overall gets heated up and this effect is known as greenhouse effect now which are the important greenhouse gases now now since the beginning i have been talking about that some gases they tend to absorb and re-emit the infrared radiation so what are those greenhouse gases so the important greenhouse ga greenhouse gases are carbon dioxide and methane so these are the two important greenhouse gases now do you understand that why carbon dioxide should not be present in very high amount in the atmosphere so on planet earth carbon dioxide is only 0.03 percent right so life can exist on earth because carbon dioxide is present in very small amount in case carbon dioxide would have been present in large amounts maybe 40 percent carbon dioxide in that case what would have happened the temperature inside the earth would have been so high that it would have not been livable so that is what i had discussed in one of the previous slides that for planets like venus and mars the atmosphere is made up of mostly carbon dioxide so 95 to 97 percent of the atmosphere is carbon dioxide and and therefore life do not life doesn't exist on those planets now the next interesting question is why is this phenomenon called greenhouse effect so how is it related to greenhouse the term greenhouse is basically used for a glass house where plants are grown now especially during winters when there is uh, not sufficient sunlight for plants to grow it is often this technique is often used where you take a a box whose top cover is made up of glass like as you see here and inside you put the plants so what happens is uh, this glass will allow the sun rays to enter inside that is it will allow the light to enter inside but it doesn't allow it to come outside so basically it doesn't allow the heat to come outside so in a way this glass house traps the heat inside and that is how uh, the it helps the plants to grow because during winters anyways you do not get enough heat and therefore the plants you know sometimes uh, they do not get sufficient light to grow so in this glass house there are provision to control the temperature light shade irrigation humidity so that it supports better plant growth so this type of glass house is termed as greenhouse now when you look at this entire phenomenon of greenhouse effect you see that that is similar to this so in greenhouse effect also the solar radiations are allowed to enter inside the earth through the atmosphere but only when the infrared radiation tries to go out of the atmosphere that time only 
it is absorbed and re-emitted. So entry is allowed but exit is not allowed. So because of this similarity, this effect is known as greenhouse effect. Now this glass house which I am talking about, this glass house can be very small sized, this can also be industrial sized. So it, its size actually is quite diverse, it can be from small sized to industrial size. In fact, you can feel this greenhouse effect even inside a car. For example, if you close all the windows, doors inside a car and park it in sun. So in a sunny afternoon, if you park your car with all doors and windows closed, what, what happens? Now, after some time, you keep it there for maybe half an hour to one hour. And then when you come back, when you open the car, what happens? How, how is the temperature inside the car? So the temperature inside the car is extremely hot, high. So it is very hot inside the car. Why? Because the glasses, it, the glasses allowed the solar radiation to enter inside the car. But whatever heat entered, so as a result, what happened? When solar radiation entered inside, the seats inside the car, everything got became hot so they emitted infrared radiation but the infrared radiation were not allowed to escape out of the glass so as a result all the heat got blocked inside the car so the temperature inside the car increased a lot so this greenhouse effect can also be seen inside a locked car so therefore if 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 somebody stays inside a car on a on a sunny afternoon or a sunny day and if the car gets locked somehow and if a person is stuck inside the car for a long time it can even cause death because that person the temperature will increase so much that the that the person will start suffocating and that might this might lead to his death thank you please visit examfear.com for free quality education you can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons you can ask your questions you can refer notes and you can take a free online test we have content for class 6 to 12 on physics chemistry mathematics and biology along with practical videos so please subscribe to our channel for daily updates thank you